Welcome back to the studio and this time we're going to be looking at paint. What paint should I start with? If I'm doing something like this, a landscape, something like this, a waterfall, or even painting something like this lovely fellow. Which paint should I use and which ones are best for different sorts of paintings? I've pulled out a selection of paints on the bench, so let's flip the camera around and see what we've got. Okay, so I've got two sorts of paint on the bench now. On the left here, these are traditional oils manufactured by the Bob Ross Company, and these are made with linseed oil and pigment. They're used with solvents to wash your brushes, like um, odorless thinners. You can't really wash your brushes with soap and water. Bob Ross brushes in particular don't like soap and water. They tend to go for a year. Very, very strange shapes. They tend to sort of swell up and become completely unusable. So these paints are used with solvents. They come in different sizes from small and large. On the right here, these are the, the new boy on the block, so to speak. These are water mixable oil colors. And these are becoming much more widely available. And there are lots of manufacturers doing water mixable oils. The beauty of these is soap and water is all you need to clean up. They're very nice to use. They come in a huge range of colors. And if I were starting out painting on oils, I would probably plump for some of these. You can use these with these on the same canvas. They're still oil paints, just that these ones you can wash up with water alone. But if you combine these two on a canvas, remember, you'll need to wash your brushes in solvents. So if you're going to start oil painting, I'd suggest water mixable oil colors are the ones to go for. They're a lot friendlier to use.